Electric vehicles has completely changed the way of manufacturing cars. From automated driving system to super innovative EV concept, car makers are taking their manufacturing to a whole new level. But let's not forget that with new innovation comes a ton of issues. And range of travel was quite a big deal for EV as it is powered by battery. But to our surprise, GAC Group, a Chinese car maker, stole the spotlight at the grand opening of the Guangzhou International Auto Show, showcasing an electric vehicle capable of traveling over 1,000 kilometers on a single charge. And that's exactly what we are going to talk about in today's video. So, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you always get notified whenever we upload a new video. Without further ado, let's get started. In 2018, Aeon was launched as a new electric vehicle sub-brand under the GAC New Energy umbrella. The Aeon S, the first of the models, was unveiled to the public in November during the Auto Guangzhou show. Back in November 2020, it was announced that Aeon would become a mark under the GAC Group, taking the place of GAC New Energy. With its new LX Plus electric SUV, Chinese automaker GAC Aeon wants to be one of the first in the country to provide a long-desired range of 1,000 km. And this particular is what made this EV grab all the attention it could possibly get. As a member of the Guangzhou Automobile Group, Aeon is a zero-emissions-focused nameplate. In addition to the aforementioned electric SUV, the company currently sells five other electric vehicles, one of which is a standard version of the Lexus LX. Earlier this year, GAC debuted the Aeon V Plus SUV, an enhanced version of the V with a faster charging battery that it claimed would provide a range of 1,000 kilometers. GAC website, on the other hand, has three different net range options for the revamped SUV, 500, 600, and 702 kilometers. Using the Aeon V, the manufacturer was able to demonstrate its quick charging technology, charging times of 8 minutes for 0 to 80 percent, and less than 5 minutes for 30 to 80 percent, were achieved with the GAC Aeon EV using a 6C charge multiplier. Not to be beaten, Aeon followed up with a 480 kilowatt fast charger, promising to bring these speeds to all of China shortly. There is only one 480 kilowatt recharge station in Guangzhou which has been operational so far. With the LX in line, Aeon's latest redesign will have the charging features described till now as well as an increased range, all while maintaining the same size battery pack as the existing LX model. After receiving approval from China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, Aeon's LX Plus EV has moved to the product announcement stage. Before a vehicle is made available for purchase by Chinese consumers, it must pass through the final major approval system. As the world's first mass-produced electric vehicle with the world's longest range, the Aeon LX Plus is being heralded as a technological breakthrough. The driving distance is extremely long for high-end Chinese electric vehicles, especially when compared to other countries. This tablet's battery pack, which will give more energy and range, while taking up the same amount of physical space as the current LX model is possibly the most exciting part of the device. As part of this effort, the business aims to make use of its proprietary silicone sponge negative cell battery technology, which was first displayed to the general public in April of 2021. In comparison, the Aeon LX can travel between 520 and 650 kilometers on a single charge. And the major breakthrough of electric range of 1,000 kilometers is something absolutely astonishing. This is significantly greater than the current record holder, the Tesla Model S, which has a stated range of 652 kilometers. However, it is important to note that the Tesla Model S has been evaluated using the internationally recognized WLTP cycle. Moreover, Aeon's claim of a 1,000 kilometer range still requires a little clarification on the testing conditions or protocol that were used. GAC did state that the Aeon LX only had a range of 904 kilometers in hot weather testing, which was quite disappointing. However, a further explanation was provided by the business, which stated that obtaining the sensational 1,000-kilometer all-electric range is doable in softer conditions. 
The sponge silica-based anode battery technology that Aon claims to have developed and shown at the 2021 GAC Tech Day in April is responsible for the ultra-long range claimed by the vehicle. Through the use of its patented battery technology, the business has developed a 150-kilowatt battery that is 20% smaller in volume and 14% lighter in mass than the company's current 650-kilometer battery. Moreover, it has an energy density of approximately 280 watt-hour per kilogram. Some attendees were taken aback when they learned about the long-lasting battery. According to reports, a thousand kilometers is achievable if you put a lot of batteries into an electric vehicle. Aon, on the other hand, has pioneered silicon sponge electro technology, which allows the company to lower the volume of their batteries while simultaneously increasing their energy density. Every year, the Guangzhou International Auto Show takes place. This year, more than 1,000 automobiles were on show, including more than 200 alternative fuel vehicles. Despite the fact that this expo is lower in scale than the Beijing or Shanghai auto shows, it is carefully monitored since it is a leading indicator of China's auto market, which is the largest in the entire globe. Before we move further down the video, if you enjoyed so far, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This really encourages us to bring more amazing videos like this one. Now, Aon is not only the one competing in this sector. Great Wall Motors introduced a luxury electric vehicle that can travel 800 kilometers on a full charge and 400 kilometers with only 10 minutes of charging time. The price has been fixed at $76,000, and Great Wall hopes to capture a significant portion of the market with this offer. NIO's first autonomous driving model, the NT7 will not only feature the company's various autonomous driving technologies, but it will also come with three different battery pack options, each of which will provide a driving range of at least 500 kilometers with a 70 kilowatt hour battery, 700 kilometers with the 100 kilowatt hour battery, and more than 1,000 kilometers with the company's new 150 kilowatt hour battery. The very same battery technology will be available for the company's three SUV models, with the NEO ES8 having a range of up to 850 kilometers, the ES6 has a range of 900 kilometers, and the EC6 having a range of 910 kilometers. Only time will tell whether the Aeon and Neo's claims of a 1,000-kilometer all-electric driving range will be proven correct when put through their paces against internationally recognized criteria. However, if they are able to come close to doing so, they will be game-changers in the process. The Artfox Alpha S electric vehicle from Bay Group is equipped with equipment and software from Chinese tech giant Hawaii Technologies. The vehicle has the ability to accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.5 seconds. China's new energy cars failed to sell more than 10,000 units in 2011, but 1.37 million units were sold in 2020, and the figure is 2.54 million for the period January through October in 2021. New energy cars accounted for 12% of total auto sales in 2012, and their share has increased to as much as 5% in recent years. EV license plates are exempt from this restriction, which is common in large cities to fight traffic and air pollution issues. However, this does not apply to EVs. Consumers are increasingly turning to alternative fuel automobiles, which are subject to fewer regulations than gasoline-powered vehicles. Tesla's domestic production of electric vehicles in China has also resulted in an increase in demand. Meanwhile, electric vehicles with a starting price of roughly $4,500, such as the one manufactured by Wuling Automobile, have increased demand in rural areas. The Chinese government hopes that by 2025, new energy cars will account for around 20% of all new automobile sales. It looks that the aim will be achieved far sooner than that deadline. By the middle of the decade, according to reports, New energy cars would account for 30% of total new passenger vehicle sales in the country. While the market for affordable electric vehicles is expanding, high-end products are battling based on their technological prowess. EVs from Chinese manufacturers are competitive not just in terms of pricing, but also in terms of modern technology such as operations, employing artificial intelligence, speakers and autonomous driving. 
Chinese consumers are becoming increasingly interested in electric vehicles, which is a significant threat to Japanese automobiles on both the high and cheap ends of the spectrum. Do you think Aeon will be a game changer? What are your thoughts on this video? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video so that it encourages us to bring you more amazing and interesting videos every day. That said, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.